Hello Varlets! Today we'll be looking at some of the most useful ring and amulet combos in Remnant 2. There are over thousands of different combinations of accessories that you can equip your character with, and many, many ways to help support your style of play when you're travelling across and in between worlds. In this video, we'll be looking over 6 useful combinations that can either work as part of a larger build or even on their own. Number 1. Rerouting Cable and Generating Band This is a great combo for sustainability. Rerouting Cable gives you a small shield when you spend stamina, and Generating Band heals you as long as you have a shield up. This means you can consistently heal yourself by dodging and spending stamina in general, which you'll be doing a lot in this game. Number 2. Tightly Wound Coil and Energy Diverter This combo is great for single-shot weapons like bows and crossbows. Tightly Wound Coil gives you a shield worth 10% of your max health when you spend 75% or more of your current magazine, which you will do when using a single-shot magazine weapon. Energy Diverter gives you a 10% critical chance and a 15% boost to all damage as long as you have a shield up. This means you can consistently deal more damage with your single shot weapons while also having a little bit more defense as you do so. You can also add in the generating band into this combo for additional healing while firing, giving you a little more sustainability in your firefights. Number 3. Insulation Driver and Soul Guard This combo is great for players who love to play with summons. Insulation Driver gives you 15% to all damage and haste as long as you have the Bulwark buff active. To get the Bulwark buff, Soul Guard will give you a stack of Bulwark for each active summon. This means you can get all the benefits of Insulation Driver as long as you have at least one summon out and about. Apart from the obvious things that are considered summons like your K9 companion from the handler and the minions from the summoner, the following all count as summons for the purposes of activating Soul Guard. Engineer turrets when planted count as summons. Space crabs, familiars, and root lash all also count as summons. Even the Far Gazer Orb also counts as a summon. Keep this in mind when you're using this combo if you like to have a more diverse way to get your bulwark buffs up. Number 4. Jester's Bell and Encrypted Ring This combo is great for a skill or mod slinging build. Jester's Bell gives you a 35% faster mod and skill cast speed just for having it on, and a 20% damage boost to all damage for 15 seconds whenever you cast a skill or a mod. On the other hand, or finger, Encrypted Ring gives you 10% of your max health over 10 seconds whenever you use a mod. This can stack up to 30 seconds to regenerate 30% of your health. This combo works best with charge-based weapon mods like Stasis Beam and Prismatic Driver, which can hold up to 30 charges. As these mods can be activated for a short time even if they aren't fully charged, you can use them to get the benefits of both Jester Spell and Encrypted Ring, even if you don't use them for their full duration. A more niche combo, certainly, but a useful one to know should we get more charge-based weapon mods in the future. Number 5. Energize Neck Coil and Timekeeper's Jewel this combo is great for a status effect build. Energized Neck Coil increases your status effect damage by 25% and creates a 5 meter explosion that deals 20% of the status effect's full damage whenever you apply it. This amulet alone makes status builds more efficient at clearing groups of enemies, but it is a little inconsistent when it comes to activating. Hopefully this gets fixed soon. Something to note here, in my testing, I've observed that buffs that increase elemental or status damage don't actually improve the explosion damage from Energized Neck Coil. My math tells me that the explosion damage is calculated based on the base status damage of the source. And yes, that means the status damage buff from Energized Neck Coil doesn't work on itself either. I'm not sure if this is intended or a bug, but it is what it is. What does work to increase the damage of the explosion are buffs that apply to all damage, so rings like Stone of Balance, for example, and the Blasting Cap Ring, which directly increases explosion damage, helps too. What also helps is the Timekeeper's Jewel. This ring doubles the duration of most status effects, which also increases the total base status damage, and therefore the damage of the explosion from Energized Neck Coil. These two accessories go hand in hand perfectly if you want to make the most of a status oriented build. Number 6. Detonation Trigger and Singed Ring This combo is great for an explosive damage build. The Detonation Trigger amulet increases your explosive damage by 25% and also sets enemies on fire, applying the burning status effect. Paired with the Singe Ring, any enemy on fire will take 10% more damage from all sources, including the burning damage as well. This is a simple combo, but makes anything with an explosive component stronger. The question is, what counts as explosion damage? While there are actually many things which have an explosive component to them, here is a small list of some of the more notable ones. Star Shots, regular shots count as explosions, so this combo makes your regular hits very devastating and an ad clear machine in its own right. The Song of Aphir mods activation is considered an explosion as well, 
allowing you to deal more damage to flying enemies and set affected enemies on fire on top of its normal effects. The Rotted Arrow mod pairs perfectly with this combo too. The explosion is amplified by detonation trigger which then sets enemies on fire. This causes them to take more damage from the damage over time from Rotted Arrow on top of taking burn damage. The Space Crabs mod can also make use of this combo for even more damage, covering them in guts and fire. The Tremor mod not only staggers and shakes the earth, but this combo also allows it to set everything it hits on fire while receiving more damage. Even throwables like the Pipe Bomb, Brightstone and the Tar Bomb thing can also make use of this combo. Truly, this combo can fit into many parts of an explosive build of any sort. Of course, there are plenty of other explosive sources, so if something isn't on this list, consider dropping a comment to help others browsing through the comments. Well, those were 6 useful ring and amulet combos to know about in Remnant 2. This game is full of build crafting potential and there are so many different interactions between mods, mutators, weapons, skills and consumables that I could spend hours just messing around to see if something works. If you are wondering why the Ring of Omens and a Yesha Amulet wasn't on this list, it's because I have a dedicated video going over its mechanics and how to really maximize the potential of that combo. Stay tuned for that. That's all for this video. Let me know what your favorite Ring and Amulet combos are down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what everyone else is playing with, especially things that aren't meta. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Violets.